everybody, Carol here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to be back. My surgery went well. Thank you all so much for the love and prayers and kind wishes that you all sent me. I really appreciate it. So now for another mixed media piece on a 6x12 cradle board, but this time I'm going to show you right here really a good way to put down sticky side up tape and be able to attach the um, open bezel or frames, metal frames that you're going to pour resin into and have it not leak out under the sides like my last piece did because I did it on a silicone pad. As you see here, my easy way of doing this is attaching a little end to the long strip, flipping it putting it down, and then being able to adhere the other end. Now I can take my little um, shapes that I'm going to fill, and I can place them down, push them onto the sticky side, and you will see how much easier the resin goes in and stays and doesn't leak underneath as it did in my last video. So this is a lot less cleanup afterwards or having to trim the pieces because it just works really well and stays right within it. So I am putting out four of each size here of these teardrop type shapes. I used these for my sunflowers in the last video, but this time I'm going to use them to make butterflies. I'm going to show you how I fill them all, but then I will assemble just the one bigger butterfly so this video isn't 50 years long. So starting with the UV resin, and my whole idea is to have these be very sparkly on the background that I will use, so I am making them silver. And then I am also going to use silver glitter to really make them sparkle. So as you can see, I was using J. Diction UV Resin. If you're interested in checking out J. Diction and all their products, because I'm real pleased with how this resin works, go down in my description below because I have a discount code and a link that you can use to get 10% off your order. And... Uh, also in the description, you'll find all the product info, how to contact me, my social media, my Amazon wish list, etc., etc. As I said uh, earlier, this is a mixed media piece, and it will be another 3D uh, finished piece like my last one. Hopefully, it'll all come out great. So this video is part one of the whole project, just making the butterflies. And then part two will involve the hand painting of the cradle board and all the assembly of the butterflies with the different layers of resin to make the 3D effect, as you will see in the end. So anyway, things have been still kind of crazy here because my daughter's getting married in a few weeks. And uh, even before I had my surgery, when I was in a lot of pain, um, I was doing invitations for her and helping her, you know, get different things ready for the, for the wedding. And my daughter had asked me to specifically use one of my um, poor paintings that had ocean colors uh, inside the design of the invitation and the table uh, card names and signs and everything. So I was real pleased that she uh, wanted me to use one of my pieces of work. 
So I am really happy that my surgery was a success and I don't have any more pain because I plan on dancing at my daughter's wedding. <laughs> so in addition to thanking you all for the kind wishes when I was having my surgery, let me just say thank you all to all my subscribers for supporting me, for uh, giving me wonderful comments, thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you will. It's free. And you could click the notifications to find out every time I upload another video. So you saw what I just did. I flipped over that tape, huh? Not too bad. And uh, was able to cure the backside to make sure everything was definitely solid and cured before I peeled them all off. And they come off great. Now, if I wanted to use the backside also or wanted the backside to be super shiny, I could always put a little thin top coat of clear. But the way I'm going to use these, you're really only going to see the front. So it doesn't matter. Now, when I go to assemble this butterfly, especially this large one, you're going to see, first of all, that I'm going to use some silver floral wire. I think it's 28 gauge, but honestly, I've had it for years. So I probably got it at a, a Michaels or, or an AC Moore, something like that, but it's been a very long time. But you can find silver wire on Amazon or in any of the little craft stores around. And I used some beads. I needed some silver beads at a certain size, and I didn't have anything in my supplies. So I found an old necklace, and it had silver beads the sizes I need. So I just cut them out. So sometimes you can just be creative like that and use something from uh, something you already have around the house that wasn't even, you know, originally sold to, as a craft item. So here's the wire. And all I do here is just twist it all up just to simulate the uh, butterfly body. And then since this is a big butterfly and he'll be to the front, I felt I needed to give it a head and little tiny balls on the edge of its antenna. So that's where the silver beads came in. And I'll show you the necklace uh, in a bit right before I uh, put the balls on. And you'll see what I did and where I got them from. So here you go. So there's two different sizes. See the big one in the middle and two little guys? Well, that's exactly what I need. So I just cut the necklace apart and there you go. So I'm going to secure them all with UV resin and then uh, attach it all to the wings and... Uh, Hopefully, we'll have a nice butterfly. Also, with this big butterfly, who will be toward the front, I'm trying to be real neat with the UV resin and not leave big puddles that might show. But the other butterflies, they're going to be uh, encased in resin. So I don't have to worry about, you know, whether I'm a little sloppy with the UV resin putting them together or not, because all that'll disappear once it's um, immersed in the uh, epoxy resin that I will use. These tiny beads were a pain in the neck, so I edited this because I kept on popping off and, and flying across the table, and uh, it was really funny, so I spared you that. So here we are just attaching the body which is uh, pretty easy to do, one wing at a time. And I wanted it not to be completely flat. So when I put the second side on, I tilted that up some because I don't want, I wanted to have a little more of a, a, a 3D look, like the wings are 
you know, flapping. And uh, I think that came out really cool. And now for the finished piece. And you can see all three coming up in the picture. And part two will be coming soon. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please stay safe, be kind, and have a great day.